Hello there YouTube, I'm Speed for All. You probably know me, but you don't know how to pronounce my username. Well, there you go. Well, and this is my background. No, I'm kidding, I'm just putting lots of previews in my background. Just watch that one. And that one. Those might be on YouTube. And while or in a long time. But what this is really about is not my background, it's those two marks here. I hope this will do. No, it won't. So I'll just give him a little push back and yeah. Now they're on full screen. Those are Makuta Anteron and Makuta Vanor. Man, don't look so down, Vanor. Well, those two are, yeah, they're a combiner. And I'm also going to be reviewing Makuta and Terex. You'll know who that is in a while. But I'll just start off with Anteron. He's got this great harpoon here. Love that thing. And the chain in his hand. Cool gimmick. Light up Piraka eyes. See that? He's angry. <laughs> well, and he's got this opening chest armor with his armor inside and this is going to be rushed because the combination takes lots of time so I'm just going to put him aside and move on to Vanar he does not have light up Piraka eyes but he does have some glow in the dark pieces, pieces like the one in his wing here and he does have a firing missile gimmick but I don't have such a missile right now here and he's got this really cool sword here with also a glow-in-the-dark piece in the core of that thing and also some movable wings on the legs really love those guys alright but this is just not what it's all about those two mods it's about the combination so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take off the wing and make sure that little bag stays in there and put the wing aside. You're gonna take the blaster out of his hand and make sure that little bag stays in here. And put that, is put that aside. Then go ahead and make sure this little bag stays in there in the wing pack. And put it aside. And take the sword out of his hands and put it aside as well. Now it looks really small, weak. Yeah. And then go ahead and pull the arms off. Make sure that bag stays in. And pull this arm off and make sure the bag stays in. And I'm just gonna push him back a bit. What you're gonna do is you're gonna straighten it out and fold this shoulder piece in. Like that. Really simple. So just straighten it out and fold the shoulder piece in, like that. Really simple. Now, what you're gonna do for Vanner is something more. Just take out the legs with the front armor. <laughs> then go ahead and push it in, straighten out, and fold it up, like that. So he doesn't have a wing on his leg anymore. Too bad. Too bad about that wing, so much for the wing. But oh well put it aside as well. Go ahead and do the same here. Push in, straighten out, and fold the wing in. Situate it up and yeah, there we go. Put it aside as well. Now this one is a bit tricky. You're just gonna disconnect this lower torso here with that bag. Unplug it from that hole right there. Then go ahead and straighten this whole stuff out here. And you're gonna have to just turn that around like that and go ahead and fold it like so. I think pretty cool. So that tube is around that yellow little piece right there. Oh yeah, tuck his head down. Well, now for enter on here. Take the chain out of his hand. Take the harpoon out of his hand. 
and take this piece off and put it in his hand here and just hold the hand like that, rotate it around a bit and just rotate it up so the hand will just face like this so that's for the arms of Enteron so far rotate the wing rotate the wing and rotate this piece here rotate the leg rotate the foot and fold up the foot so once again rotate the leg, rotate the foot and fold up the foot like so and open the chest and let him look up a bit what you're gonna do up next I'm gonna start off with the legs he's based on Omega Prime so I should be starting with the arms but oh well now what you're gonna do is you see those holes the lowest one and the highest tab right here is gonna slide in that lowest one that's just gonna clip in place there then go ahead and push that tab into this little hole here and just make sure that's just fit like that and make sure the zomer doesn't fall out which is really annoying if it falls out because you are gonna have to search it again which is really annoying so just plug in the leg and plug the leg into the foot like that and now he can stand but that zomer will just fall out of his chest so I'm not gonna do that yet now the arms there's a small gray tab on Enteron's forearm here not sure if you see it, yeah you see it there now this the hand here for the elbow joint is gonna fit onto that tab and then you're just gonna rotate the hand down so it's nice and flush like so, like so so do exactly the same on the other side just take the arm like so plug it on and rotate the hand down and now for Varner's torso you're gonna take this piece here and slide it with the two holes onto those two bags here this is gonna be really cool well there goes the armor that zomer is just going to be tucked underneath the uh, armor here you're not going to see anything of that which is well yeah a shame but yeah then just situate up the chest armor again and make sure everything is in place well there we go we're almost done now for the wing she took off Varnor earlier you're actually just going to yeah take the wing and plug it into the yeah spot where Vonner's arm has been and open it up like so so just do the same on the other side and make sure it's just like so yeah and then go ahead and don't let it spring off go ahead and plug it in there and open the wing so he's got those really awesome wings behind his older, you know, Enteron's wings. Well, that's for the basic guy. Now for the weapons. They had two weapons each, so you're going to have to combine those. Which is easy for this one. This one, just fit the chain on there. And go ahead and put it in his hand and then the chain goes to the armor here and locks in I like it like that so just go ahead just take the harpoon here flip it up flip it up all the way back and rotate this one so it faces forward put the handle of the sword in there separate the top turn it around like so and close it up again so you've got this giant blaster here and this will go in his left hand 
Man, yeah, there we go. And now you've got some UGS combined guy. And this is Makuta Antirax. As I mentioned before at the start of the video. And he still has the cape and the light up eyes. And the color schemes of both combined this time. And I really love this guy. He's actually one of my first combiners. But that's for later on. I say goodbye to you guys. Stay tuned.